Hi, my name is Sumit Patek. I'm digital workforce evangelist in Automation Anywhere. This video is all about the early pitfalls which you will face when you're starting your automation journey. The idea is to give you some crisp takeaways which you can practically uh, apply in when you're starting your automation journey. I got a very good friend of mine, SK, who is an expert who will share these, his experience and some interesting points on how to go about it. Uh, so over to you, SK. Uh, I'm SK, uh, the Senior Director and Head of Pre-Sales Consulting and Customer Success for Asia, Pacific, and Japan. So before I jump into talking about the three uh, pitfalls, uh, I just want to highlight that uh, one of the key things that many companies do not realize is that workforce transformation is part of the digital, digital transformation, and therefore it is not just an IT project, uh, such as implementing an automation tool or software. It is a company-wide initiative from the CEO right down to the operations team. And it affects all functions and business units from finance, HR, to supply chain. Therefore, many customers did not take the optimal approach and hence did not realize the full benefits of a digital workforce. So for us in Automation Anywhere, we are not just into providing robotic process automation or RPA solutions. We are in a business of helping our customers transform their workforce to be more productive and improve their top line and bottom line. So let's jump right in into some of the pitfalls companies fall into when they're deploying digital workforce. This is a company-wide initiative and it is also part of the digital transformation. So therefore we need senior leadership buy-in and a company-wide strategy, not just with the various business units, but also with the various functions such as HR, where they need to look into educating and retraining the employees. Uh, finance and operations, where they need to look into not just cost reduction, that is the bottom line, but also how to deploy employees to do higher value work, which helps to better engage their customers, come up with improved products and services, and go to market faster. Right, which is improving their top line. So we have seen companies uh, fail in such initiatives because they approach this at a departmental or business unit level, or each uh, department pursue their own cost and strategy, which results in haphazard deployment, which cannot scale and optimize. Right? Th therefore, that senior leadership buy-in is very key right, in driving this holistically throughout their whole organization. And if we move to the second pitfall, uh, SK, you know, we've got 4,000 plus customers and we have seen one common trend that it's very important be start of the journey or in the middle that you need to have a cultural shift, a ground swell, right? How important it is from the change management perspective, from the human aspect perspective to put some more thoughts when you're starting your automation journey. Yeah, you're right. The human aspect is very, very key in the success of any digital workforce project. After all, um, humans make up the workforce, right? And many human workers see digital workers as threats to their livelihood, and we need to educate and change their mindset. In many cases, um, the digital workers will not replace whole jobs, right? But only the mundane and repetitive tasks within jobs. So for example, a finance team will be able to complete their month end closing faster with less overtime work, uh, or a worker can be trained to be a manager of digital workers rather than working on those tasks themselves. So other than educating their employees on the benefits of working with uh, digital workers, companies also need to come up with a training plan to reskill their workers for changes in their job scope and responsibilities. This plan needs to be communicated clearly to the employees to get their buy-in and support. Otherwise, the company may meet a lot of resistance from the employees, which will derail the whole initiative. And I believe, SK, you know, at the heart, at the center of it, you've got center of excellence. Now, we've heard a lot of different theories from our customers. What is the major theme you see? When shall we start step establishing COE? Is, is, is it at the start of the program or when it scale up? So it'll be good to get a view on how we are seeing a successful deployment of COE and what does it take? Yeah, what we see is that setting up the CIS, this COE early is important as this core team drives the strategy and the execution of the project. 
throughout the whole organization, including the change management I spoke about. So success or failure depends a lot on the presence of a COE. And I've seen many projects could not scale beyond their initial five to 10 digital workers and hence cannot get that ROI they are looking for just because they do not have a COE to see the project, the project through. So customers have also asked, right, who should be in the COE? Well, they should definitely include the stakeholders, uh, not just from the business units, but also from functional areas such as IT and HR. So the IT can help to ensure that uh, governance of the digital workers is taken care of, including adhering to the company's compliance and security standards. So getting the stakeholders from the different BUs and the functional teams into the COE is very, very key. In ensuring all aspects of this initiative is taken care of and the setting up of the COE early will help drive the project forward to ensure success. So if I were to bring all these three pitfalls together and paint a picture because I'm a picture person, what we see is at the start, uh, we spoke about uh, the leadership buy-in is quite key because it provides the vision and direction to the program. On the other end, it's very important that we have this groundswell chain management, the cultural aspect, the human aspect, and it's because that's what's going to basically uh, take the program from start to scale. And at the center, the heart of it, you have got center of excellence, which will basically navigate it all together, right? So I think these three uh, points, or let's say the golden uh, triangle, the angle to the golden triangle is quite important when you're starting your automation journey. Uh, I hope you found this session informative. Uh, for more information on this, please click on the link below. And, uh, and thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.